What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy Michelle, coming at you with another raw, realistic wig review. So before we get started, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on awesome content like what? Like this. So yes, as I just stated, today will be a raw, a realistic wig review. I will be trying on a wig that I got. From this company i'll leave all the information in the description box per usual um it's supposed to be like a long body wave i think like 30 inches i want to say you talk about stepping outside a comfort zone i'm jumping out i'm flipping out um somersaulting out i'm gonna be way out my comfort zone with this one because this is like super duper uber duper long but we gonna see what's going on with it anyway now as i always say now, I don't slay, but I wear them anyway. I do just enough for them to look decent. It might not look like it's growing out my scalp. It might not look like mine, but I'm going to have it looking, looking good enough to go outside and not look throw it off. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to open it up and see what's going on. Let's see if we have any free stuff. I like free stuff. You know, free 99. More wig caps. Can never have enough of these. And this color, I'm, I'm not too particular about this color, but it's fine. I mean, free is free. May the happiness always accompany you and your family. Hope our wig makes your beautiful life. Okay, I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you for the wig and for the nice message. Okay, we're gonna throw that over there. And what else we got? Tattoos that I'm not gonna wear because my skin too sensitive. But they're really cute though. But yeah, I'm not gonna fool with them. And now we get to the nitty gritty. The reason why you here. The reason why I'm here. This baby. Okay, maybe she she tucked in the bed because she sleep. I was expecting to pull it out and be like, bam, but okay. I'm really hoping this don't have no lace because me and lace don't get along. We got a thing going on, but not a good thing. I don't like fooling with lace, but we're going to see. So here you go. You got your standard netting that you could turn into a fishnet top or some stockings if you're feeling frisky. Ow. But not really. Please don't do that. Don't. Don't use this as no. Mm -mm. That's like the cafeteria lunch lady cap. Don't do that. So, this is what it's looking like straight out the pack. It's all crinkly and long and Morticia Adams looking. And this is the parting space. Mm -hmm. This paper that gets on my nerves. Oh, the lace not that bad. It's just this little piece right here. But I'm going to still have to try and take it off. And I like to take it off. Because I always cut too much and then I end up killing the wig. But this is your standard thing. You got your netting. You got your combs. You have two in the front. One, two. There is, let's see, is there one in the back? Nope. Just two combs in the front. You got your strap right here. Adjust it if y'all wanna. Leave it like it is. Do what y'all want. It's your life. It's your prerogative. Be Bobby Brown around this thing. It's your thing. Do what you wanna do. I don't care what you set the strap to. Okay? So, I'm trying to take this off. In and in and in. Okay, I might just have to cut this because it ain't cooperating. I'm just cut it. Can't cut it without scissors, huh? Ah! Let's see if I can pull it. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Okay. But I am still going to have to go get the scissors to cut this little piece. So let me do that and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I'm back. I've cut the little bit of lace that was right there in the front. I've already adjusted the straps on the inside to my liking. And by to my liking, I mean I put it on the first one because I have a big old head. So we're going to try this on and see where we go from there. Now, usually when I take this off, my hair's in some twisty doodles or some flat twists or whatever. But see, I was ready for y'all this time because y'all wasn't going to be laughing at my twists because I know y'all be laughing because they be looking kind of crazy when I take my wrap off. But this time, I already got my wig cap on, so y'all ain't going to laugh at me today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try this on, see what the initial thingamajig looks like, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's the initial try on. I haven't done it, I just plopped it on my head. And like I said, if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be 30 inches or whatever. And yeah. Now, I don't. I know I'd be joking saying I have a big head, but I really do have a big head. So I don't know if it's because my hair isn't really flat enough or what. But even on that first strap, it was kind of a struggle trying to get this on my head. So, but anyway, this is the. <laughs> the front Ooh. let me see how I look from the back crinkly doodly doodly crinkly okay mm. I'm gonna try and do something to it maybe if I put a little a little mousse or something on it I don't know I'm just winging it cause really what I could do take my wrap and put it right on there and do my do my do and then we'll be good to go i'm gonna put a little mousse and see if that make a difference let's see because i have a similar wig to this one and i know when i use this and that one kind of makes the curls pop somewhat so we'll see if that does anything for this one i don't know I be trying with these long ones, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just meant to mess with like short wigs because I don't care how cute these things be looking. For whatever reason, when they get on my head, on this head of mine, they just gonna be looking how they need to look when they look how they look not understanding it mm -hmm. so there's a little mousse of tooth up there and oh oh no oh no Mm. Man, my wrap it. I'm gonna put my wrap on this because I'm not, I'm not feeling this one at all. And it could just be me. I could just, my sledge may not be up to par, but this is giving me very much Halloween, Wicked Witch of the West Side vibes going trick-or-treating with my goblins and trying to look cute while I pick up a new ghost like I'm not I ain't mm. I am not feeling her at all so I'm going to try make it look halfway presentable and I'm putting my right back on cause I'm not I'm just not about this so uh, this bootleg looking life, like that ain't it. So we just gonna 
do us a cute little twist to do with our wrap a tap tap and we gonna keep it pushing that's what we gonna do I think I might hang it up with these long wigs y'all like unless I find one that's like really really bomb mm. me and these yeah, we'll just go ahead and cover my face so I can't see nothing. All right, that's how you do. Okay. Yeah, me and these, these long ones ain't going to make it. I'm not for this at all. Can't even see how I want to wrap my thing on the jacket. I don't know. That just made me go and say, like, what are you doing? No, we're going to try this again. But yeah. So, let's just talk while I'm trying to figure this out. So, when you purchase a wig, what drives you to buy a wig? You see it on somebody else and be like, ooh, that might be cut you on me. Is it the price factor? You see a little cheap one and be like, well, if it's not all that cute, it won't really bother me none because I didn't spend that much on it. Uh, what's, what drives you to buy a unit? Which kind of units are you into? You like long ones? You like short ones? Color? Simple blacks and browns? Like what? What are your faves? I'm actually more partial to like the full units where you ain't got to mess with no lace. I have always struggled with lace. Even though I see some real cute styles I would love to get. I always cut way too much lace. Oh, I mess up on the parting. And a whole bunch of hair ends up falling out and <sighs> yeah, so but give give me a short wig though. Baby. I would slay a short wig all day every day. I sure would. So I'm just gonna tuck this like this for the time being. And well, that look a little better than it did. At least to me. That look a little better. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. That's, that's about the best I could do, y'all. I came, I tried, it ain't work. This ain't it. Um, if you're into nice long units and you really know what you're doing you can go ahead and get this you might be able to make it look like like you was born with it but honestly truthfully for real though the only thing i like about this is it's black i like black that's about the only thing i like about this um would I wear this again? Probably not. Will I try to cut it into something else and do something else with it? I doubt it very seriously because if I got to do all that with it, I don't want it. Um, it's kind of cute with this wrap though. I like it with this wrap. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like it that much. I think I might stick to my short wigs. So, if you have any of your favorite short units, the names of those, you can drop those in the comments for me so I can go and check them out. And that will be the end of this review. Because, honestly, truthfully, for real though, I'm not feeling it, y'all, at all. And I want to get this off my head because it's hot. It's real hot. 
I feel like I should be sunbathing on the beach. That, that's how much this thing is holding heat. I cannot. I shall not. I will not. I must not. And that's why I'm going to take this off. So thank you all for watching this realistic wig review because it was realistic in more ways than one sure was so make sure you like share comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me for this little bit and i'll catch y'all on the next one all right peace